subscribe to the Defenstar channel and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. Today we will compare two light attack fighters, the Aegis Mark 1A which is developed by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, and JF-17 Block 3 developed by China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation. First, let's check out the similarities between them. Both are lightweight, single-engine, multi-row fighters. Both are equipped with active electronically scanned array or ASA radars, and advanced electronic warfare suites. Both are capable of within visual range and beyond visual range combat. Also, both are equipped with in-flight refueling probe or IFR to further extend their effective range. JF-17 Block 3 is the latest upgrade of JF-17 fighter. Main upgrades include, Chinese origin ASA or active electronically scanned array radar which would be superior to the pulse Doppler radar in Block 1 and Block 2. It will have an electronic warfare suite including radar warning receiver and missile approach warning system. Block 3 will feature three-channel flight control system, an upgrade over the hybrid flight control system in older blocks. It will also feature new head-up display which is wider than older head-up display of JF-17 Block 1 and 2. Airframe changes include a modified vertical stabilizer and an enlarged spine. We can also see integration of lights and sensors to the vertical fin and side inlet areas. Its side inlet seems further widened, but it seems to have retained the Russian RD-93 engine which is already in use in older blocks. Let's see how Chinese JF-17 Block 3 will fare against India's Tejas Mark 1A. First, let's compare their radar systems. Tejas Mark 1A features Israeli ELM-2052 ASA radar while JF-17 will carry Chinese KLJ-7A ASA radar. Israeli ELM-2052 radar of Tejas has better maximum detection range of 200 km compared to the Chinese radar range of 170 km. ELM-2052 can also track 64 targets simultaneously while the JF-17's KLJ-7A radar can track only 15 targets at a time. This proves that Tejas Mark 1A carries more advanced ASA radar compared to JF-17 Block 3. Now we will compare electronic warfare capabilities of these fighters. Tejas Mark 1A will use Israeli electronic warfare suite which is lightweight, small and offers complete protection against air-to-air -air and surface-to-air threats. Israeli electronic warfare pod is also currently in use with many fighter aircrafts around the world. In comparison, JF-17 will use an unknown unproven Chinese electronic warfare pod which is not used by any other country except China. Again, the Aegis Mark 1A carries superior and proven electronic warfare suite compared to JF-17 Block 3, in terms of engine. Tejas Mark 1A uses American origin General Electric F404 engine which is proven, smokeless, maintenance friendly, and has longer service life. In comparison, JF-17's RD-93 engine is smoky, requires more maintenance and has shorter service life. F-404 engine also powers other proven fighters like Gripen C, F-A-50, F-18 Hornet, and it's clearly a much better engine choice than the RD-93 engine used by JF-17 Block 3. Now let us compare general specifications of Tejas Mark 1A and JF-17 Block 3. Despite JF-17 Block 3 having upgraded 3-channel flight control system over Block 2, it is still inferior to 4-channel fly-by-wire of Tejas Mark 1A, which makes Tejas more controllable and agile compared to JF-17 Block 3. Tejas is equipped with advanced dash helmet mounted system while JF-17 Block 3 images do not show any helmet mounted system integrated. Helmet-mounted systems help pilots in quick target tracking and engagement by just looking at the target. It also allows pilots to fully utilize the high off-bore side shoot capability of close combat missiles. 
Aegis also features Automatic Landing Recovery System or ALRS, which enables aircraft to remain controlled during extreme maneuvers and reduces workload on pilots. JF-17 Block III also lacks this crucial feature. Aegis Mark IA also features more hardpoints and offers dual rack missile pylons which enables Aegis to carry more weapons. In comparison, JF-17 Block III has only 7 hardpoints and it also does not offer dual rack pylon feature. In terms of speed and thrust, Aegis again dominates JF-17. Speed and thrust are crucial in dogfights and close-range engagements. Aegis also features Disorientation Recovery Function or DRF, which helps pilots if they get disoriented. JF-17 Block III does not offer any such feature. While both fighters offer aerial refueling capability, the Aegis has better maximum takeoff weight capacity and better G tolerance. The Aegis also offers hot refueling to reduce the turnaround time, JF-17 however does not have this capability. While JF-17 has crashed two times, the Aegis has never faced any accident which gives a better safety record. Tejas Mark 1A will also be equipped with superior Western and Indian origin beyond visual range and within visual range missiles. While JF-17 Block 3 will carry unproven untested Chinese missiles which are known for their inferior quality and reliability, from this in-depth comparison, we can conclude that India's Tejas Mark 1A is a more advanced and superior fighter compared to Chinese JF-17 Block 3. While Tejas Mark 1A features superior avionics, sensors, weapons and has better safety record, it is also affordable and unlike JF-17 it makes no compromise on quality and therefore offers better value for money to its users. Hope you liked this video. Let us know your feedback in the comment section. Please subscribe to this channel for more defense videos. Thank you for watching.